Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video, doing the EC46 day slash six weeks okay, for the UK and for Ireland for today's uh, fourth video. And I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first, the video release day was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also the JMA Friday and the 10 to 14 day as well. Please check out all today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. We would normally be released this on a Saturday morning, but tomorrow we have got the second and final season one roundup for spring coming up for you. So this video has been shunted back to Friday evening. So, uh, thank you so much to each and every INT for supply of a chance, by the way. Thank you so much to EC for uh, doing that. Right, let's start off with week one. Uh, mean sea of pressure anomaly then. This taking us from the 26th of February to the 4th of March. So, 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 so low pressure in control and in the ascendancy uh, next week across western parts of Europe yet again. 500 millibar height anomaly is showing a trough uh, below average heights extend extending even through <laughs> the west of Europe. Put your teeth in gap and uh, the jet stream doing something a little bit like that as well. Okay, let's have a look at the temperature then. Uh, the uh, temperature anomaly is coming out slightly above average. For the UK and Ireland there. Uh, next week, a rather mild week to come. Although the core won't be shoved over to the east side of Europe. But it is still a bit above average. And you guessed it, with above average uh, uh, um, temperatures, we've also got above average rainfall as well. So another, yet another mild and wet week to come. Oh dear. Right, let's have a look at week two, which will be the 4th to the 11th of March. Bit of a change this week. We start to see some higher pressure developing out to our east. That could start to bring in the wind from more of a southeasterly direction, which could be relatively mild for uh, that time of year. 500 millibar heights look like that. Again, above average heights over Europe. And you will think that's probably going to bring a wind in from a southerly or a southeasterly direction. What are the temperatures doing? They're above average. So uh, a nice mild start to uh, March here. No problems with temperatures and precipitation. Turn it drier. Oh, Ooh, that's a bit of a change, isn't it? Starting to turn <laughs> slightly drier there as we're going into the second week. Right, we're cooking with gas now. Um, <laughs> week three will be the 11th to the 18th of March. High pressure on the move and looking like it's going into... <laughs> Retrogression, moving up towards Greenland, Iceland, and that could start to pull in some colder air from the north and from the northeast there into the middle of March. 500 millibar heights look like that above average heights. Still dominating, a lot of high pressure, but in a different position. Could be starting to bring something a bit colder in, perhaps. Let's see what the temperature anomaly is doing. So it's still above average, not really going cold, but uh, a little bit lower than it is in uh, in week two in particular. Nevertheless, still slightly above normal with temperature anomaly there. Week three. And uh, precipitation again, but just that little bit on the drier side as well. Right, week four will be the 18th, 25th of March. Let's have a look. And uh, high pressure still in over Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure is to the south. Could we be drawing in the wind from an east or northeast direction? Could we? Could we? Could we? Could we? 500 millibar heights look like that. We're uh, blocking in the North Atlantic around uh, to Greenland and Iceland. Again, could that be opening the door? To a northeasterly, maybe. What about the temperature anomaly? So that is now average. Actually, going colder than average to our north. A near normal temperature anomaly is there, 18th to 25th of March for Ireland and the UK. And as far as uh, precipitation is concerned, so drier than average in the North Atlantic, wetter than average around uh, Spain, Portugal, and into the Bay of Biscay. Otherwise, not much of a signal. Right, week five will be the 25th of March. First, April. Here we go. 
and they're still blocking signals to the north with low pressure to the south. What's happening with the 500 millibar heights? Not much change either. Again, blocking to the north, low pressure to the south. Again, could we be bringing the wind from an easterly, northeasterly direction? I wonder. Temperature anomalies are about average, cold of an average to the north again, the normal elsewhere. This might be called a second half to March here. And the precipitation is drier than average to the north up there and uh, wetter than average to the south. And then finally we go over to week six, which will be the first to the eighth of April. Let's have a look. And again, we see blocking around Greenland and Iceland, but lower pressure perhaps pushing further northward. So if anything, that might be turning more unsettled, wetter into uh, early April. The 500 millibar heights again, indicative of some blocking around Greenland. Low pressure is underneath it. How is the temperature looking? Again, no better than average. And it's colder than average just to the north and low. Last week, precipitation looks like that. Wet and average shots out, driving average to the north. Okay, so we've got a pretty clear signal there for uh, the next six weeks. Have we? Have, have we? Um, they're generally mild through the first half of uh, March, and becoming drier, and then the second half of March potentially going colder. And possibly becoming more unsettled as we get into the end of March and the beginning of April. We shall see. Remember, any forecast on five seven days comes with big health warnings and large pinch of salt attached. And, uh, and yeah, so that's it. Right, OK, so uh, we're going to be live in a couple of hours at half ten with the pub run. I shall see you a little bit later on the pub run live. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow morning we're going to have the um, second spring 2020, 2024, I should say. 2024 seasonal model round of I don't know. Uh, been a long day. Um, no, <laughs> that will be coming up for you tomorrow at 10 a.m. I shall see you a little bit later on for the pub run, but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.